In this video we will discuss about light reaction of photosynthesis. Light reaction is also known as Hill reaction. So first we will discuss Hill reaction. In 1937 Robert Hill found that when leaf extracts containing chloroplasts were illuminated, they evolved oxygen and 2AH2 reduced, an artificial electron acceptor added to the medium. Chemical reaction is where A is the artificial electron acceptor, or Hill reagent. One Hill reagent, the di-2,6-dichlorophenolindafenol, is blue when oxidized and colorless when reduced. Hill found that CO2 was neither required nor reduced to a stable form under these conditions, O2 evolution is not linked with CO2 reduction. Several years later Severo Ochoa showed that NADP is the biological electron acceptor in chloroplasts. Hill concluded. CO2 reduction and O2 generation are separate processes. The Hill reaction is defined as movement of electron from water to electron acceptor DCIP with the evolution of oxygen. Rubin and Kamen isotopic study provided direct evidence that O2 is releases from water. Photosynthesis occur in two steps. First is light dependent reaction. It is also known as Hill reaction. Because Hill first reported that O2 evolution and CO2 fixation is separate processes. Since light is required for this process. It is known as light reaction. Photosystem involved in this process. ATP and NADPH synthesis occur in this process. Second is light independent reaction. It is also known as Blackman's reaction or dark reaction. CO2 fixation occur in stroma of oxygenic photosynthetic organism. Carbohydrate synthesizes in this process. Now we will talk about light reaction. In light reaction, flow of electron occurs so on this basis it could be non-cyclic electron flow and ATP synthesis occur by this process is known as non-cyclic photophosphorylation. Second it could be cyclic electron flow and ATP synthesis occur by this process is known as cyclic photophosphorylation. Let's talk about non-cyclic electron flow. In this process electron moves in Z manner so it is also termed as Z scheme. This Z scheme shows the pathway of electron transfer from water to NADP in non-cyclic photosynthesis. One photon is required per electron in each photosystem. After excitation, the high energy electrons flow downhill through the carrier chain. Protons move across the thylakoid membrane during the water splitting reaction and during electron transfer through the cytochrome B6F complex producing the proton gradient that is essential to ADP formation. P680 is strong oxidant and excited P680 is weak reductant. P700 is a weak oxidant and exited P700 is a strong reductant. In plants two reaction center act in tandem. The thylakoid membranes of chloroplasts have two different kinds of photosystems. The two systems have distinct and complementary functions. Excitation of P680 in photosystem 2 produces excited P680, an excellent electron donor that, within picoseconds, transfers an electron to pheophidin and pheophidin become negative charge. Pheophidin Pheophidin is a chlorophyll in which the central magnesium atom has been replaced by two hydrogen atoms. Plastoquinones. Two plastoquinones PQA and PQB, are bound to the reaction center and receive electrons from pheophidin in a sequential fashion. Negative charged pheophidin, very rapidly passes its extra electron to a protein bound plastoquinone, PQA, which in turn passes its electron to another, more loosely bound plastoquinone. PQB when PQB has acquired two electrons in two such transfers from PQA and two protons from the solvent water, it is in its fully reduced quinol form, PQBH2. The plastohydroquinone then dissociates from the reaction center complex and enters the hydrocarbon portion of the membrane, 
where it in turn transfers its electrons to the cytochrome B6F complex. Plastohydroquinone is a small, nonpolar molecule that diffuses readily in the nonpolar core of the membrane bilayer. Cytochrome B6F complex The cytochrome B6F complex is a large multi-subunit protein with several prosthetic groups. This complex contains two B-type cytochromes, a C-type cytochrome historically called cytochrome F, a RISC FE, S protein, FESR, and two quinone oxidation, reduction sites. In C-type cytochromes the heme is covalently attached to the peptide, in B-type cytochromes the chemically similar protoheme group is not covalently attached. The complex contains a RISC iron, sulfur protein in which two iron atoms are bridged by two sulfur atoms. The non-cyclic or linear processes, a plastohydroquinone, QH2, molecule produced by the action of photosystem 2 is oxidized near the luminal side of the complex, transferring its two electrons to the RISC Fe, S protein and one of the B-type cytochromes and simultaneously expelling two protons to the lumen. The electron transferred to FESR is passed to cytochrome F and then to plastocyanin. The reduced B-type cytochrome transfers an electron to the other B-type cytochrome, which reduces a quinone to the semi-kenon state. The cyclic processes, a second QH2 is oxidized, with one electron going from FESR to plastocyanin and finally to P700. The second electron goes through the two B-type cytochromes and reduces the semi-kenon to the plastohydroquinone, at the same time picking up two protons from the stroma. Overall, four protons are transported across the membrane for every two electrons delivered to P700. This cycle is known as Q-cycle. Plastocyanin. It is a small and water-soluble. It is copper-containing protein that transfers electrons between the cytochrome B6F complex and P700. Excited P700 transfer its electron to philoquinone. Philoquinone, also known as vitamin K1. Additional electron acceptors include a series of three membrane-associated iron, sulfur proteins, or bound ferrodoxins, also known as Fe, S centers FESX, FESA, and FESB. Ferrodoxin Electrons are transferred through centers A and B to ferrodoxin. It is a small, water-soluble iron, sulfur protein. It is present in stromal side. The membrane-associated flavoprotein ferrodoxin, NADP reductase FNR reduces NADP to NADPH, thus completing the sequence of non-cyclic electron transport that begins with the oxidation of water. Water splitting Two water molecules are split, yielding four electrons, four protons, and molecular oxygen. Four photons are required in this photolytic cleavage reaction. The four electrons abstracted from water do not pass directly to P680, which can accept only one electron at a time. Instead, a remarkable molecular device, the oxygen-evolving complex, also known as water-splitting complex, passes four electrons one at a time to P680. The immediate electron donor to P680 is a tear residue, in subunit D1 of the photosystem 2 reaction center. Oxygen-evolving complex. It is localized on the interior surface of the thylakoid. The tear radical regains its missing electron and proton by oxidizing a cluster of four manganese ions and one calcium ion in the water-splitting complex. With each single electron transfer, the MN4Ca cluster becomes more oxidized, four single electron transfers, each corresponding to the absorption of one photon, produce a charge of 4 plus on the MN4Ca cluster. A classic hypothesis in photosynthesis research postulates that MN ions undergo a series of oxidations which are known as S states, and are labeled S0, S1, S2, S3, and S4, 
that are perhaps linked to H2O oxidation and the generation of O2. This hypothesis supported by many experiments. It has been found that Cl and Ca2 plus ions are essential for O2 evolution. Again summary of water oxidation. After receiving photon, P680 become excite. And it donates it electron to theophytin. In this way it become oxidized. Tyrosine residue in subunit D1 of the photosystem 2 reaction center donates its electron to reaction center P680. The tear radical regains its missing electron by oxygen evolving complex by water oxidation. Oxygen evolving complex contains 4 manganese, calcium ion, and chlorine ion, oxygen. Light reaction inhibitor. Some herbicide inhibits light reaction. Like diuron and paraquat. DCMU blocks electron flow at the quinone acceptors of photosystem 2, by competing for the binding site of plastoquinone that is normally occupied by QB. Paraquat, act by accepting electrons from the early acceptors of photosystem 1 and then reacting with oxygen to form superoxide, superoxide damages chloroplast components especially lipids. Photophosphorylation The light-dependent ATP synthesis is known as photophosphorylation. This process was discovered by Daniel Arnon and his co-workers in the 1950s. Excisited P680 donates its electron to theophytin. Oxidized P680 is reduced by oxidation of water. In oxidation of water releases 4 proton in lumen and electron transfer through the cytochrome B6F complex, releases proton. In this way, proton gradient develops that is essential to ADP formation. Movement of proton from thylakoid lumen to stroma via ADP synthase releases energy and this energy use in ADP synthesis. Important point of non-cyclic electron flow. Release of one molecule of oxygen requires, oxidation of two water molecule and eight photon, four electron flow for ATP and two NADPH synthesize. Cyclic electron flow. In this electron flow only photosystem one participate. Cyclic electron transfer, in which electrons move from ferredoxin back to the cytochrome B6F complex, instead of reducing NADP. No oxygen and NADPH formation. No oxidation of water. It is more productive because more ATP synthesis. Condition for cyclic electron. More NADPH and less ATP favors cyclic electron flow. What is P700? It is a photochemical reaction center. In P700, the P stands for pigment. The photochemical reaction center of photosystem 1 absorbs maximally at 700 nanometers in its reduced state. The primary donor of photosystem 1, P700, is a dimer of chlorophyll A. What is P680? It is a photochemical reaction center. In P680, the P stands for pigment. The photochemical reaction center of photosystem 2 absorbs maximally at 680 nanometers in its reduced state. The primary donor of photosystem 2, P680, is a dimer of chlorophyll molecules. Heterocyst Heterocysts are thick-walled cells. Heterocyst develops in filamentous cyanobacteria under ammonium, NH4+, deficient conditions. Heterocyst contains nitrogenase. Nitrogenase are responsible for the reduction of nitrogen, N2, to ammonia, NH3. Nitrogenase is inactivated by oxygen, so the heterocyst generates a microanaerobic environment. Heterocysts do not contain photosystem 2, the oxygen-producing photosystem. Heterocysts maintain photosystem 1, allowing them to generate ATP by cyclic photophosphorylation. Till now, we talked about light reaction in oxygenic photosynthetic organism. 
Now we will talk about light reaction in anoxygenic photosynthetic organism. Light reaction in anoxygenic organism occur in plasma membrane. It could be cyclic and non-cyclic electron flow. NADH may or may not form. ADP synthesis. Light reaction in purple photosynthetic bacteria. It is an anoxygenic organism means no oxygen evolution during photosynthesis. It contains pheophyte and quinone type photosystem. In purple bacteria, light energy drives electrons from the reaction center P870 through pheophytin, a quinone, Q, and the cytochrome BC1 complex, then through cytochrome C2 and thus back to the reaction center. Electron flow through the cytochrome BC1 complex causes proton pumping, creating an electrochemical potential that powers ATP synthesis. Cytochrome BC1 complex is similar to complex 3 of mitochondria and cytochrome 2 is similar to cytochrome C of mitochondria. Therefore it is considered that mitochondria evolved by purple photosynthetic bacteria. Green sulfur bacteria is an anoxygenic photosynthetic bacteria. Green sulfur bacteria have two routes for electrons driven by excitation of P840. A cyclic route through a quinone to the cytochrome BC1 complex and back to the reaction center via cytochrome C, and a non-cyclic route from the reaction center through the iron sulfur protein ferredoxin, FD, then to NAD in a reaction catalyzed by ferredoxin NAD reductase. 